just because I shoot, don't move. Nice. I said a snare. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I snared a hog. Dear Father, we just thank you for this time together, Lord God. We thank you for father and daughter uh, time together, Father. And that we got to harvest this this uh, wonderful creature, Lord God, that even though it is a nuisance, it's still your creation, Lord God. And we just thank you that we didn't, didn't go to waste. And uh, we get to do this together with my sweet old rail, Lord God, my, my oldest, my firstborn. I just thank you, Lord God, be with the rest of our family. And uh, be with the world that's hurting out there. Pray for Australia or anybody else, uh, animals and people that are suffering. And we just thank you so much, Lord God. And thank you for what you've done for us. Bless everybody that's watching and that supports Texas Jungle. And we just love you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ready? Okay. Where are we going? Disney World? Yeah. Disney? My Disney World. Your Disney World? What's that? What's your Disney World? The Disney the deer lease. I like it because I get to climb. <coughs> deer lease is our Disney World because we get to climb and shoot things and just just have a great time. Welcome to a beautiful Sunday morning. When you see this, I don't know what day it's going to be, but it doesn't matter. Every day is a beautiful day when you're thankful and when you go outdoors to your Texas jungle. So we're gonna go check on traps, and we're gonna shoot some more, and we gotta uh, check cameras. We'll show you what's on those cameras. Hopefully we have something. The vitals in the deer is like a size of a pie plate, which is bigger than this. It's like double the size. So if you hit anywhere in here, it's a dead deer. That's a beautiful shot. So we're gonna try one more time. We're right here. And then if she gets it right right now, I think we're, we're good to go. Let's do it. Good job. See? Eight years old. A real shine. She's pretty amazing. She's a pretty amazing girl. As you can see, she's got the whole world in front of her. Feel good? See? Just practice. No, it is. Just practice. Right there, good enough. We like the middle, but it's okay. She did really good. So Ori and I got excited because we were hungry and we thought we'd have to kill something to eat, which we probably do now. I got excited because I found this on sale, half off, pheasant recipe. And I thought I was getting pheasant jerky and I was getting excited. It's dog food. <laughs> it's dog treats. <laughs> Ori looked at this and went, you probably thought it tasted a little bit like dog food, right? Look at this. <laughs> I was eating it, but I thought it was a little bit weird. We'll use it as bait. We're spitting it out. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> Days that fly by when you're not looking. Don't want to waste it. 
a good place for your kids to practice driving. She's practicing at eight years old, so I don't think I want to be very scared or nervous whenever eight years from now she really drives. She's gonna be just fine, just like shooting a gun. As long as you practice with them, they'll do just fine. And she's shooting guns and she's hunting and just kind of learning all kinds of stuff. Learning stuff from mama to cook and clean and so raising a good healthy kid here. Right? These are the days that fly by when you're not looking. Don't want to waste it. I'll not your night spent alone. Guys, we got a hog in a snare. snared a hog. There's no way. I can't believe we snared a hog. You've got to be kidding me. He almost got loose. Look. Look. This is how close he was. He was snared around the neck, I think. And he almost... Oh, what? This is the snare bite. Wow, he almost got loose, guys. I just shot his snare, the snare off his neck. The snare is a goner. That's his nerves, baby. But look, he almost got loose. This is how much he almost got loose. Guys, I said a snare. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I snared a hog. That is crazy. Yes. I can't believe that worked. Yeah. I can't believe it either. You said we... It didn't choke him, but it held him in place until we yeah. got here. That's nuts. Snaring a hog. We just snared that hog. Oh. I just set a snare in one of the on one of the trails. And it actually got him. Unbelievable. That is crazy. We snared a hog. I can't believe that we snared a giant. A good sized boar. That's nuts. Guys, we got lunch. Ori and I are gonna move our stand and we're gonna have some fresh hog over the fire. And uh as good as it gets guys can't get much better than that huh? look at that we got lunch what you doing baby smelling flowers yeah. after after killing a hog or he's picking wild onions show them baby she's picking wild onions to go along with her with a hog Show. Let's see it.
go. some wild onions here. Wild onions. With wild hog snared. Looks like we got some wild radishes here. We got salad. <laughs> we got meat and salad. That's awesome, Ori. Let's see you, Ori. What you got there? Salad? Let's see. With our wild onions? Uh -huh. And our wild hog? God will provide, guys. The Lord will provide. Here we go. Hi, Or. Hi. This is yet to come. We are different. Got a freight train running through our minds. Gonna take us away tonight. Away tonight. Oh. We hear the rumbling of the road. A new song playing far from. Or he's gonna cheat on the survival challenge. It is a survival challenge. I thought this guy was our survival challenge. Still warm. Yeah. We probably eat the heart. We'll save that. Tenderloin, just gotta rinse it good, got a little urine on it. Tenderloin, number two. Hog balls. There it is. Trim the silver. If you trim the silver and the skin off the back strap right away before you even take it off, it's a lot easier. Back strap. Extra. Doesn't smell too gamey. It's perfect. Oh, we 
is preparing nicely, like a good woman. Wild onions, wild radishes, wild hog, wild meats. First hind quarter. I left a little bit of the hair on there for insulation. And keep it cool. Smoke it. Shot. I mean, just trap. It's really good. That's um, what is that? Wild onions and what? Um, radishes. Radishes. Wild radishes. Look, this is the kill. Right here. Okay guys, we're gonna season it with two different things, Sunny D and Doritos, because that's all we had with us in the truck. Okay, this back strap is like a pork chop. It smells delicious already. We're gonna butterfly it. Okay guys, we butterflied the steak. I'm gonna squish the Doritos, create a seasoning out of it, throw it in there. We're gonna throw them all in there, guys. One of the hog balls fell, we're gonna use this catfish bait. I'm gonna throw the wild onions and throw a little bit of Sunny D in there. The marinade. How'd you like your Doritos to look like that? Okay, good. Okay, how to work. Get out great. We're gonna start laying everything on here. One more Doritos. To the fire. Wild onions, don't touch. Tenderloin, backstrap, part. What we got? Part of the neck, maybe? No, Hog balls. 
and hog balls. We'll leave the rest. We'll save the rest. Ooh. Almost touched that. Okay. That's going on a fire. Just look at that, guys. That is going on the fire. Looking good. Doritos. Doritos and Sunny D seasoning, because that's all we had. Here it goes. when you don't have a cooler you want the smoke to protect the meat or keep any kind of bacteria or bugs anything off of it so as soon as we smoke it we're gonna cover it take it straight home put it in an ice box or an ice Okay guys, well here it is. It's definitely ready for sure. We wanted to make sure it was ready to go. We're starving. Cheap. It's really good. Yeah, let me try that ball first. Hog ball. <laughs> Hog balls right there. Or is it? Good. Here's part of the neck. I cooked it, so I got a chart on the outside because it's directly over the fire, but on the inside it's perfect. Pretty hungry. Yeah. And we were hoping for a squirrel. Try that. Mm -hmm. Tenderloin. That is good. Mm -hmm. Wild onions, where are they at, baby? Mm -hmm. you left? Eat it with some of this, see what you think. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's very good. I believe these are wild, um, what did I say this was? Radishes. Slice it, 
against the grain. Mm. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. We can certainly survive out here, guys. Here's the hog balls, they just stay moist. They just stay moist. They don't, I don't think you can overcook them. Probably, probably be cooked a little more, the hog balls, but they're like the best, aren't they? That's like the most tender out of all of them. Cuts more of this tenderloin here. Hog balls are Rory's favorite. We put it on a little bit longer so they can see them. They seem really moist. This almost tastes like chicken or pork chops, obviously it's pork. But the, uh, the back strap, really, I mean the uh, tenderloin is very good. With the radishes. As Jay says, Defecto. Or prefecto. Mm. Okay guys, if it sounds or looks a little bit different, I'm sorry, the other the other phone died. We had our backup here. But everything came out amazing, guys. It is it's good. We're gonna keep eating it. We're gonna chill over here, here's some of the heart. We've had some of the heart already. And uh, the tenderloin and backstrap. And it was very, very nice. Just wanna thank you for joining us. And uh, she wants to, she wants some more of the testicles, hog testicles. It just kind of melts in your mouth. It's really good. But I just want to thank you for joining us and uh, on this adventure of wild onions, wild hog. We seasoned it with Doritos and Sunny D, right? Mm -hmm. And then we had some wild uh, radishes as well. And uh, just want to encourage you to do this with your family. I mean, you don't have to be this this extreme, but we just love it. We love the wildness of it. We love the rawness of it and how organic it is. And just living right off the wild. Eat wild, stay wild, find your jungle, and God bless you. Let's go ahead and pray since we didn't pray earlier. Mm -hmm. Real quick. Dear Father, we just thank you for this time together, Lord God. We thank you for father and daughter uh, time together, Father. And that we got to harvest this this uh, wonderful creature, Lord God, that even though it is a nuisance, it's still your creation, Lord God. And we just thank you that we didn't, it didn't go to waste and uh, we get to do this together with my sweet old rail, Lord God, my, my oldest, my firstborn. I just thank you, Lord God, be with the rest of our family and uh, be with the world that's hurting out there. Pray for Australia or anybody else, uh, animals and people that are suffering. And we just thank you so much, Lord God, and thank you for what you've done for us. Bless everybody that's watching and that supports Texas Jungle. And we just love you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Again, thank you. We're out of here. God bless you. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and punch that bell. Punch that bell. Hit that like. Thank you. God bless you. Peace. Very cool day, guys. Very cool day. You just never know what's going to happen out here, guys. You never know. Came out here to check traps. This is where Ori shot her first hog, I think last year or two years ago. Right there in that ground blind, and that hog was actually right under that feeder. Um, we used to have a feeder right there where the fire pit is. And she shot her first hog, and that was pretty awesome. So the fact that we get to do this together, uh, that we caught a, nothing was in the traps, but we caught a, a hog in a snare, which is just crazy. I planned it. I planned it for coyotes or hogs. I knew it wasn't deer because it had a, it was a trail with, with brush and a new deer won't walk through that really low tunnel. And so, I mean, what more can you ask for? Are we tired? Yeah. But man, this is the way of life right here, guys. I just want to thank you for joining us on this father, daughter, catch and cook. And, uh, really enjoyed it and hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you so much for following along and for, for joining us on this adventure. We're out.